This is Phil Chandler. I'm just going to show you a way of feeding a top bar hive that is very portable, very easy, very quick to do, and involves minimum mess. And it also protects the food to a large extent from attack by wasps and robbers. So what you need is an empty tetra pack. Anything will do. Uh, this is um, so had um, coconut milk in it, but it doesn't matter what's had in it within reason. Obviously nothing toxic. Um, so empty tetra pack bag of sugar and some water, that's the whole thing. So what I'm going to do first of all is to pour the sugar into the empty tetra pack. Now you should find that a standard one litre tetra pack will actually hold a kilo of sugar near as done it. And what you can do, in fact, is to make up as many of these as you need ahead of time um, because they do actually keep your, your sugar dry and clean inside the Tetra Pack. Okay, I'm not, not quite getting the full... Oh, yeah, yeah, here we go. Pretty much got a kilo of sugar inside that Tetra Pack now. Give it a bit of a shake, I can get a bit more in. Okay, so not quite a kilo, but there's only a teaspoonful left in the bag. Now, you can, of course, store the sugar like that, bone dry inside the Tetra Pack, that will keep indefinitely. And it means you can toss a few of them in the car, or you can even keep them uh, somewhere in, in storage until you actually need them. So, the next stage is, I'm going to show you is how you actually use it. Before you feed it to the bees, um, what we do is take a bit of fresh, clean water and pour it into the Tetra Pack. So I'm gonna pour in as much, pretty much as much water as I can get in there. And that will ensure that we have saturated the sugar and we'll end up with a, a pretty thick syrup in there. Oops, that's the wrong top. Okay, so now I've got a kind of squidgy tetra pack full of sugar which is dissolving in water. Alright, so the next stage I'm going to open the hive. Okay, so now if this is the hive that we want to feed, the next stage is we can take a sharp knife and I'm going to make a cut inside the upper face. Now I'm cho choosing to use the upper face, I'm choosing to use the side with the opener upwards and that's just an extra security to avoid spillage. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut three sided cut like this so that the this piece here the bit I've cut out but not not fully I've left this intact this now floats on the liquid okay and what you'll find is now that if I put this in the on the floor of the hive the bees can use this as a ramp to come down and drink from the syrup and as they as they work their way down, this will pretty much stay on the on the surface of the liquid and allow them to take syrup from the surface without actually drowning. So let's see if I can get this into the bottom of the hive. And this particular hive has got comb right up to here. So what I'm going to do is put the Tetra Pack inside, carefully, on the floor. This is an eco floor, by the way. Uh, it's got semi-composted wood in there. And now the bees can get onto this feeder 
and you'll probably find that they'll start walking onto it because they're curious creatures. And they'll be able to take food from there without danger of drowning. These bees seem quite content doing what they're doing and they're not that interested in food at the moment, so we'll let them find it in their own good time. And I'm going to put some bars back over the top because obviously we need to seal this area now because we don't want wasps finding a way in. <clears throat> Nice and secure. Robbers can't get in there, wasps can't get in there, and they've got a litre of syrup. It'll last them a little while. So here I am a few days later, we're back at the hive that I put the feeder in and I'm just going to uh, have a look inside, see what they've done. Let's move the follower, move a few of these empty bars and here we go and you can see they have completely emptied the carton of syrup. Absolutely cleaned it out completely, not even a dead bee in there. So, we're, and we can reuse this of course if we choose to. Uh, I could even, I could put fondant in here, uh, which is a good winter food of course, and I could re refill it with syrup if I choose to. And if I put the camera inside the hive, you can see what the bees are up to right now. See they're nice and quiet, going about their business, making honey 